Hi friends, it's Lindsay from Pure Yoga and I'm here this week to talk with you about fear. Ah so I have an exceedingly evocative question for you for this Monday sparkle up. What is your fear response? And do you know who you become in your life when fear gets really high and intense for you? And how do you begin to dissolve that response and replace it with one that is more in support of what you're wanting to create in your life? Well, that's precisely what we're going to talk about today. And I want to just begin by saying that in yoga, we create stress in the body by putting the body into physical postures and then holding it for a period of time and allowing the body to start to trigger some of the stress response. And as that happens, if we have awareness around what our stress response is, then we can, uh, that like unlocks us to be able to start to amend that stress response. And so I'd like to suggest that we take a very similar approach today in thinking about something that would typically scare you. So maybe it's public speaking, or maybe it's receiving criticism, judgment, or feedback from somebody. Maybe it's asking for a promotion, um, but just, Put yourself into a place where you begin to think about something that scares you and then just notice your response. Do you instantly want to bail or run? Do you kind of internalize that and start to beat yourself up? What happens for you when fear becomes real in your life? And as you notice what happens, you can then decide, is that how I want to be responding to fear for the rest of my days on this planet? Because I think there's a better way. Unless you're using fear as a catalyst for action, I think there is a better way to manage fear in your life. So I wanna talk about a few acronyms that I've become aware of for the word fear that have been really helpful to me. The first one I ever heard was F-E-A-R, false evidence appearing real. And that helped me. I thought, okay, yeah, maybe my fear is unfounded. Maybe it's false evidence and it appears real and that I have the opportunity to look at it differently. And then I read one that said, failure expected and realized. And I thought, oh, that's legit. You know, if you expect to fail, that expectation is so powerful that you're likely to become a self-fulfilling prophecy there. So that was a great acronym for fear, but not all that empowering. Then I heard Zig Ziglar's and he says, you can either forget everything and run or face everything and rise. And I just loved that acronym. So that's really the one we're gonna roll with um, in this episode. I would encourage you to use that acronym to empower yourself as fear comes up for you. But then secondarily, start to become aware of that fear response and maybe allow your fear response, fear coming up, to be an indicator for you that action is necessary. So that's how I've been starting to treat fear in my life. Um, I just launched a brand new business, the Stimply Swan Vase Exchange with my mother. And during I, the planning stages of this process, putting together the business model and the business plan, I had a lot of fear. Oh my stars. And I realized one of my fear responses is distraction. As I would uh, start to work on something that I feel maybe not as competent in, I would really distract myself. I'd say, oh, did I just hear my phone? Is, is somebody calling for me? Oh, Huckleberry, was that, what was that thing I was supposed to do? Wasn't there a thing I was supposed to do? I mean, I would just take myself right down the rabbit hole of distraction every time to bail on what was scaring me. The problem is it was keeping me really small and I was not going to live that way anymore. So I started to think about this idea of fear coming up and I said, I am just going to let that be a flag for me that action is needed. I'm just going to let fear exist simply as an indicator. Action needed here. If you're feeling fear, action needed here. Oh, that's perfect. I just thought of that. But that's really how I began to think about it. And as I empowered myself to allow action to become a catalyst, or I'm sorry, to allow fear to become a, ca a catalyst for action, I was so empowered. And I started taking small, tiny little baby steps in the face of my fear. And it got easier and easier and easier. And the results were surprising and delighting. And ultimately though, so empowering. 
I realized that I really do have the power to move through any fear and to conquer any endeavor that I am um, wanting to achieve. And I was so excited. So I hope that you'll take an opportunity this week to evaluate your fears, notice your response to that fear, and then choose how you want to move forward with fear in your life. And I hope that it will help you to not play small and shrink away from that which scares us, but really to champion our life experience and move toward that fear and play on a bigger and bigger scale every day. And I can't wait to hear all about it. So share with me in the comment section below and I can't wait to see you next week. Thank you so much for being here.